Hi guys, what's up? Hope you guys are doing great. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to give you a campus tour of a campus I'm pretty sure you all will love. Right now I am standing outside Jain University School of Design, Media and Creative Arts. This is the latest campus opened by Jain University and this is located in Yelahanka which is near to the airport. Currently under this campus there are more than 15 courses that are offered both in UG and in PG and some of the major courses are in graphic design, product design, communication design and a lot more. I obviously will be giving you a lot more of information today because I have taken permission from the management and I have the whole day here to spend. Without any further ado, let's get started. Wow, first impression, the campus looks very huge and there is a good amount of greenery inside the campus. This is a garden just for everybody to chill. By the way, I've been told that this is because it's a new campus, it's literally the state-of-the-art infrastructure. So let's go check out. Even the trees are so aesthetically designed here. I'm super excited for what's in store for me. Oh my god, wow. This is the reception area of the campus. But to be honest, this looks like a lobby of a five-star resort. I am not even kidding, guys. I just hope the camera does justice. But this is the reception area. On this side is the offices of the CEO, directors, deans, heads of departments. I love the way that they have designed, kept these aesthetically designed elephants and I'm pretty sure all of them are designed by the students. If you'll be coming to the campus, this is going to be your first spot because you'll be waited here till you meet whomsoever you want to meet or get information about their courses, programs, all of that. Okay, I need to be looking out for classes now. I think it's on this side, so let's go. First spot on any campus tour is the classroom. Right now there is a foundation class that's actually going inside. So I won't be disturbing the class but obviously you need to take a sneak peek inside. Come on in. I obviously need to give you a lot more information about their courses, hence I found this empty classroom. By the way, because this is a newly made campus, each and everything out here is really very modern. Like you saw in the running classroom also, the way the things are designed, it's all amazing. They have used very modern colors here and each and everything is brand new. By the way, the classrooms also look really very spacious. So are their labs, which I'm going to give you a tour of after this. There is a good amount of natural lighting coming from the outside and there's a good garden view so it literally looks like a resort I am not even kidding guys at the same time another very important thing is that all the, the whole campus is centrally air conditioned which again is really very good for the students because they will not feel hot uh, even though like Bangalore's weather is considered to be really very good it has started to get hot and if comment below and let me know if you guys also agree with the same Along with that, another very important thing to note is that all their three-year courses are UGC approved and all their four-year courses are AICTE approved, which again is very important for you all to consider before you're making a decision. 
like I told you guys, there are UG and PG courses. So UG courses are either three years or four years and PG courses are of two years. Because all the courses that are offered in this particular campus are very hands-on in nature. That means you need to get a lot of learnings in terms of practical learning. Not only you'll be able to learn these things in the labs, which I'm going to give you a tour of, but at the same time, Institute really helps you get internships because you need to be doing one year compulsory internship in the real game in order to, you know, build up your portfolio and do really very well. As far as the internships are concerned, like I told you, Jane University will help you get these internships. Some of the companies where they've actually gotten the students placed are like Redbus, Ola, Delta X and a lot more, which again is really very good. Come now, let me give you a tour of other things. Right now, I am inside the home of all fashion students. This basically is the fashion studio or the fashion lab where all the fashion enthusiasts burn their midnight oil. I know a bit about fashion, so I can help you guys tell you that this is stitching and you can see all the girls very dedicatedly stitching. There are different colors of threads here and an amazing Vogue magazine's covers. Graphic, I don't know what to call it, but it looks really very good. On this side, we have students who are doing pattern making and this is what is taught here. So they design different patterns on the chart sheet here and then cut it up. That's how patterns are made. Here, what you can see is draping. So from stitching, they cut the material, design the patterns and now they're draping it on the mannequins to see whether it's fitting it right or not. This white dress looks really very nice. Pretty good. Here two students are doing various things. They're watching fashion shows, designing something, making notes. All of this looks really very nice. By the way, again, this mannequin also, the material that you see has been designed by the students. I don't know if it can really come on the camera or not, but this looks really very beautiful, specifically the blue color. And this is textile designing, am I right? Tie and dye. Oh, tie and dye, I'm sorry. This is tie and dye, and this is also done here. Oh, that's the machine where this happens. Wow, this looks really very nice. So they are taught how to dye the cloth here in different colors, right? Wow, and then how do you dry it? After we have to remove that and then uh, take it out and then we have to... Wow, so all these designs are like have been dyed here yeah. in this lab? Yeah. Wow, all of this looks really very nice. Some amazing colors. And I mean, you can make shirts and all of this, right? For this, we can print it on the t-shirts. Wow, really very good, guys, really good. <music> guys, right now, I'm with Yogaraj, sir, who's the head of film and media here at Jain University. Sir, first of all, thank you so much for allowing me to take a tour of this lab. Can you exactly tell me what happens here? Yes, uh, welcome covers. I will explain you. So this is Film and Media. We have two programs, BA and MA Film and Media. So uh, the BA will have their own limitation in terms of the range and the depth. But MA, they will have more advanced techniques they will learn. So this is the studio space and classroom space we have. So this can be converted into classrooms as well as studio. And this is my place where I used to sit and work and it will be a more collaborative work. So now we have uh, BA 6M students, Abhijit is working on his documentary project along with his another friend. So all the students who, who are doing any kind of a project, they will have all the basic uh, the important documentations like storyboarding from the script to the short breakdown and the ideation they put everything in paper then they will get the approval from the department then they will start their uh, shoot so and you can see lively here like, uh, there are some students so they, they used to do start with fundamental of visual arts and sketching and drawing to understand the basics of, uh, of art also so from here because these things will help them to transform things into storyboarding and uh, thumbnail. Wow, sir, this, like, I mean, I didn't even know how much effort goes into, uh, they're designing each and every shot. 
Yes, exactly. Even you can see it here. So these are the uh, displays where uh, same one student of film and media used to uh, do. Wow. And this is uh, now right now students are working on a product photography. So this is MA film uh, film and media student Hari Sanjay and uh, Sunil. They are doing a product photography for a coffee ad. So. So we have state of the art equipments also which is more than enough for uh, all the students to explore and we have more equipments whenever we need more equipments we used to do like workshops and master class where they will, at that time the university will provide more equipments for the students to uh, work on. Okay so basically you firstly teach them of how to use these equipments and then they use it for like practical purposes practical purpose. their projects all of that. Yes. Wow and all, all these equipments are provided by the institute yes. themselves? Yes, yes. From the department yes from the university Jain University. Wow, that's that's really very good. Thank you so much, sir. Thank Thanks so a lot. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, so it's 12:30 p.m., which means it is lunch time here at Jain University. Behind me, you can see is the cafeteria where students come and eat their lunch. This is a buffet system style that is available for students to eat but you also have the option of going outside the campus and eating something. This here what I see is very healthy food like rice and dal and chapati but for all you junk lovers you can go outside and eat as well. Okay guys, right now I am with Trisha who is a third year product design student here at Jain University and she is going to give me a tour of a very important room which is their product design studio. Hi guys, come let's go inside. So Trisha, what exactly is happening here? Yeah, so like here students are working on uh, wood and then they are trying to make a 3D model uh, but they are using MDF. Oh, okay, wow. And what about here? Yeah, so a couple of students are working with wood itself and then the other half, they are working on clay. They are trying to make tiles, so they are making tile prints. So all of this is like yeah. they are working on the tile? Yeah. Oh, I can see students there as well. So are you guys all making tiles? Yes, yes. we are molding right now. Okay. What's, what's happening there, Trisha? Uh, they, they use the wire material and then they try to make textures on it. So like which all courses come here? Okay, so the courses here, mostly majorly product design students and retail interior space students also work in the workshop. Okay, and what is, what is he doing? Uh, he's trying to sand uh, his model yeah, to give a proper finish. Okay, wow. For the good finishing, we usually sand the uh, product that we make. So we get very good, nice finish, smoother finish, yeah. Okay. So Trisha, what all materials are used here? Okay, so majorly we use clay, uh, metallic wires, metal sheets, and then uh, wood pieces, and then thermocol also. Okay, yeah. so does university provide you with all of this? Yeah, university provides all the equipments we need. Okay, this is good. What is this machine? It's a laser cutting machine. So uh, we, make, uh, we, make, we make designs and then our students get it cut with laser cut. So we don't have to make more of physical work, the machine is doing it for us. Oh, yeah, wow. so these are the products that our students did. So all of this is made by this machine? Yeah, all of this is made by just the machine. Wow, guys, this all is like pretty cool. They've made chairs and everything through a laser cut. This is an LED panel? No, this is a TV unit. Oh, this is a TV yeah. unit, wow. Great, yeah. And Tisha, what exactly is all of this? Yeah, so these are the works from our retail interior uh, students. So this is the hotel design that they have made. Okay. Yeah, come on, I also want to show you the 3D printer. This is a, this is a 3D printer? Yeah, so this is the 3D printer. Uh, we students design in the softwares like Rhino, Fusion and a lot more. And then we get it uh, 3D printed with this machine. Oh, wow, this is really cool. And what exactly is he doing? Okay, he is using thermocol and then he's trying to make a form and giving finish by sanding it. Wow. Yeah. This looks like really hands-on as a studio. Yeah. How much time do you spend here? Uh, according to my projects, I spend like all day here. Okay, wow, that's great. Thank you so much, Trisha. Thank Thanks a lot.
Okay, one of the things that I've really liked on this campus is that students, rather than spending time in the classrooms, are spending time in the labs, which is really very good. And but obviously they have to do it because all the courses that are offered in this particular campus are very hands-on and they require a lot of practical learning. So they have to spend time in these labs. One more lab that I'm going to give you a tour of is the Fine Arts Lab. Let's go. It's designed in a very specific location just near to the gate and this is the whole sole room dedicated to this particular lab. I've been told that it's an amazing lab so come let's go. By the way, this lab is both for UG and PG students for undergrad and master students of fine arts. I'm pretty sure this would be their home. By the way, just like the whole of the campus, the lab looks really very modern and nice. In this lab, students do clay modeling, life sketching, sculpturing, painting and a lot more. You can see all these sculptures that have been designed by the students themselves. They look really very good. I'm pretty sure, I mean, for those who are in the interior business, they can sell all these sculptures for lakhs and lakhs of rupees. There's also a class that is going on. I think there's a sketching class. All of these are also guys sculptures. Oh wow, there's another very cool thing that's happening. Here there is live sketching that's going on. So they've kept a model and all the students that you see here are live sketching this particular model. I don't want to disturb them, but you guys are doing amazing. I am no judge, but I think everybody is so close to doing like really well. By the way guys, all the sculptures and all these sketches that you see here have been designed by the students themselves and I'm also sure that this is also designed by the students. All of this is like really very good stuff. Guys, I am going to give you a tour of a room which I am pretty sure you have not seen in any university. This basically comes under interactive game art design and development and this is basically the gaming room. Oh my god, wow. It's crazy good, you can see students working on their laptop and let me sneak inside their laptop. This I guess is 2D designing. Hey buddy, what exactly are you doing? I'm just trying to build some uh, armor for that creature. Wow. Guys, here students are taught how to design games. So you will be taught how to make games from everything from the ideation, design and development will be taught here and not only the 3D games but also the 2D games and not only the tech games but even behind me I can see prototypes of the board games that has also been taught here. Hey bro, can you tell me exactly what are you doing? Yeah, so this is Pine, it's a 2D animation and rigging software. So basically, I'm just rigging my 2D character here and animating its movement. So you can see the zombie moving. Wow, this is good. By the way guys, I can also see students playing PS5 and obviously I'm going to join them but after I'm done taking the tour of the campus, PS5 is provided by the institute and this is just not only for entertainment purpose, students are doing research. So they basically have to spend time playing the game and then write research on it, understand what has been their learning and then design their own games. So imagine how cool this is. And it's just not about PS5, they also have VR and Oculus as well. I think this is mind-boggling to say the least this is the first time ever i am taking a tour i am taking a tour of a gaming room inside an institute and all of this looks super super cool to say the least i wish we had things like this when i was studying in college The vibe of the campus is amazing and it has a very hands-on vibe. I have toured so many of the labs here and I see students so dedicated and so creative which again is really very good and I think it's very important for a course like this where they need to have like freedom, open space and give their time to do whatever they want to do. Come, I'll show you another very cool thing. Now this huge sculpture that you see is made of waste cans. So of Fanta, Sprite, Coke and whatnot. Like, I mean, how cool is this? 
Along with that, guys, because this campus is situated in Yella Hanka, transport services are provided by Jain University itself. Because you know somebody might want to go to BTM or somebody might want to go to Jayanagar, so transport services are provided. So yes, guys, I've almost come towards the end of my campus tour here for Jain University. I'd come in the morning and it's evening now. But I tried to cover each and every thing of the campus, each and every lab. And I hope you all like this tour. Thank you so much for watching this video till the very end. If you like this video, make sure you give me a thumbs up. Comment below if you still have any doubts, questions, queries regarding Jane University or their School of Design, Media and Creative Arts. At the same time, please subscribe to my channel and press the bell icon. I will be putting down a lot more of information regarding Jane University and this particular campus in the description of this video. So make sure you go check it out. Do not forget to subscribe. Do not forget to follow me on Instagram. I'll see you all with another video. Take care guys. Bye-bye.